uh, they got they got two two, and then they just they they came out in the third period, and they just, um, for lack of a better term, just kind of laid an egg, and um, they weren't weren't working hard. They weren't playing like they did in the third period today. And if they could have somewhat managed to 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 win that game three two, and they went into the third period three two, if they could have managed to hold on to that and win that hockey game and come home three one, we're looking at a completely different series here. And and then like Darren Pang said on the on on his breakdown at the end of the game. To win the Stanley Cup, you got to win on the road. We just couldn't do it. No question about it. Speaking of Ken Hitchcock, just moments ago he met with the media, and his comments are brought to you by the Missouri Lottery. Night. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably the story of the series. That you know, I would say for us, missed opportunity. We had a lot of people play very hard. Um, Didn't get timely goals. That's what playoffs is. Goaltending is a big part of it. I thought the best player in the series was their goalie, and in the end, he he made the big saves uh, when we had the five or six close-in chances today. He made the big saves. Hard to explain uh, what happened in the second goal. Well, I think you, it it it's a cast of errors. It we didn't get the puck deep twice. When we had a chance to clear, we didn't check the right player and then went off our stick. I mean, you can't blame Elliot on that. That was a complete deflection and went up almost four feet from where the original shot was. But we didn't get it cleared. We had it twice to get cleared and we panicked with the puck and ended up on our net. Ken, when you see your team compete the way they did those six games, what do you tell them after really what was four heartbreaking losses? Really? Uh, what I'm going to tell them is it's not good enough. If you want to be a champion, it's not good enough. You can't, you can't allow the goalie to outwork you, David. If you want to be a champion, you're going to have to find a way. And we're, we're a pretty hungry group here from management to coaches to put a championship team together, and it's not good enough. And, you know, we can lament on missed opportunities and how hard we played. We really bought in for the last two months in a big way, which gave us a real good feeling about ourselves. But you, you get opportunities like this, uh, like we did in, in game three and we did in game five. And again, tonight, you can't miss those opportunities. You know, I hope our players, when they pause and reflect about it, are really, really pissed off. And... Uh, disappointed in the opportunity that we missed here because we we didn't finish we we took everything to the beach but we didn't finish putting it in the water and that's that's going to be disappointing and we're going to have to live with that through the rest of the summer. You've been around a lot of teams. This management supported the deadline added. We've got a good team for a while here. How long is the window? Right? How long is it open? Well, I think it's open now, but we have to. We have to look at ourselves a little bit from we, we've we've counted on like adding Bo Meester and Leopold really enhanced our hockey club. They really helped us. Uh, they brought us composure and compete and big minutes. They really helped us. But the people that we count on that we've grown have to play better for us to get to the next level. Quite frankly, we need more from the people that are homegrown and. Uh, that's something that we'll address in the off season and uh, in conversations with each individual. But that's what we need. We need uh, we need the homegrown guys, the guys that we've built around to to get to the next level. Ken, are you surprised that some of your guys who did it in the regular season just weren't here in this series? You mean from a scoring standpoint? Yes. Um, yeah, that's a small difference, you know. But there's a big difference between playoffs and regular season. There's a big difference and. You know, I just felt like we allowed a goalie to outwork us. And um, I know it's the most important position in our sport, but I think to get to the next level, you just, you can't allow that to happen if you want to get to the next level. Okay, thanks. All right, there you hear it from uh, Blues head coach Ken Hitchcock after his team's 2-1 loss, and they lose the series against the defending Stanley Cup champion LA Kings in six games. Rather blunt, I would say, following the loss tonight. Yeah, and I love it. I think that's exactly what they need. Um, David Backus, 
started to touch on it. Uh, now you got Ken Hitchcock saying, I, I want the guys to be pissed off, and, and hopefully they are because um, the St. Louis ownership, uh, Ken Hitchcock, Doug Armstrong, the entire coaching staff, the entire management, these guys want to build a winner in St. Louis, and uh, he's right. It wasn't good enough in a lot of different areas. Uh, um, you know, we've talked about it tonight in our, with our opportunities on that goal, and Ken Hitchcock just reminded us again, you get that puck in and that second goal doesn't go in. Twice they had a chance to and they never did. So it's great to, it's great to see that the accountability is already going to be there and, uh, and that they're going to have to make it better over the summertime and, and get, it, get it right next year. No question about it. All right, we will come back on this edition of Missouri Lottery Blues Live. We'll hand out the Payne Award and the plays of the year. The Blues go home after their 2-1 loss tonight in Los Angeles.